This report is addressed primarily to America's corporate directors, individual directors, and the boards that compose can make an enormously difference by motivating management to identify and exercise long-term value solutions in the economic and social pressures that the businesses face. The report is an urgent call for these uh, directors of public corporations who have yet to address the new realities of global competitive markets to become more active stewards of the corporation they're supposed to direct. Directors should become leaders in evaluating the long-term sustainability of their business strategies in light of these societal concerns, including those growing out of the current economic downturn. I want to highlight just a few of the key recommendations of the report. I'll leave it to you to read the report itself uh, for a more detailed list of our recommendations. First, the foremost conclusion of the report is that directors have a legal right and obligation and duty to address the long-term performance of the corporation. How often have we heard in the boardroom somebody say, we can't do that, we have to operate this company only for the shareholders. We don't have the legal right to take into other considerations. Directors' fiduciary duties include broader societal concerns that affirmatively affect the corporation's performance and long-term sustainability. To meet that duty, directors must consider the concerns of all, not just shareholders, managers, or other powerful constituents who are in position to affect a company's <coughs> performance. Boards of directors regularly should consider that the company uh, plans, manages, and communicates in interaction with a society. The board should insist that management report regularly to it and to the public on non-financial performance, including social performance. To institutionalize this process, the board may want to establish a special committee to empower its governance committee to take responsibility for oversight. That committee should report to the full board and regularly uh, be on its agenda. Directors should recognize the value of corporate communication with shareholders and the public on issues that bear on the company's reputation and brand value, even when such communication may not be required either by the regulation or fit neatly into financial disclosure formats. Boards that have a non-executive chair or lead director may want to consider a communications role for that person in such cases and subjects. Directors should promote honesty in reporting not only on financial reports and other non-financial aspects of their company's operation, but also on the risks and opportunities and results of its social interactions. Such reporting should show how the company evaluates the long-term impact of potential costs and benefits. Directors should use their authority to help their companies find a firm, specific way to communicate effectively with shareholders and the public through the regular annual report to shareholders in a, sep in a separate public report or in some other way. When choosing a CEO, the board's selection committee should be mindful of the role that that person will play in setting the tone and direction of the company with regard to ethics, integrity, and engagement with shareholder and other interested parties. Boards should tie a portion of a CEO and senior management performance compensation to metrics based on the corporation's performance on such concerns. Just as there are some who would uh, want corporate leaders uh, in the current environment to sit quietly on the sidelines or focus narrowly at this quarter's bottom line, there are many who say that our proposals cannot work in theory, even though they see them working in practice. There are skeptics who question whether corporations can sustain societal-based strategies and cynics who wonder whether corporations should. But as our report demonstrates, there are global corporations that are paying greater attention to their interdependence with society 
and are redefining the balance between commercial concern and societal concerns. These firms prove both skeptics and cynics wrong, and they are leading the way by showcasing the new competitive strategies of the 21st century. In the end, these strategies require that societal and business leaders view and treat each other as partners and not adversaries. Of course, business leadership is only one half of this formula. Political and other society leaders <clears throat> must reform their outlook also. As I hope our report and this event convey, business leaders cannot wait. Now is the time to act. Business leaders must answer the call for a new era of responsibility. And I might add, based on my own personal experience uh, as an investment analyst many years ago, it was the companies that practiced these things that made for good investments. They made for companies that you wanted to buy and hold forever because you were confident that they were not going to be blind blindsided that they are prepared to move through the difficult times and, and handle some of the societal concerns I've been talking about. So I'll end there.